Thank you, Madam President. Madam Minister, to counter the horrific terrorist acts by ISIS and others, it is key that countries that see high numbers of victims of terrorism as well as large numbers of perpetrators are actively engaged in fighting back. As King Abdullah of Jordan said yesterday, the fight that is witnessed between terrorists and those who want to defend pluralism is a fight within Islam. It is important that countries of the Arab, uh, area, Arab countries take responsibility and cooperation between the EU and Arab League states on counterterrorism is welcome, yet clarification is needed. We call on the publication of the Memorandum of Understanding so that there is full transparency and we can see what is agreed. It is unfortunate that the press release by the External Action Service did not mention the importance of respecting human rights while cooperating on fighting terrorism. Because in this House, we've repeatedly been asked and forced to call for the respect for human rights, notably after the Arab uprisings, as they are often violated precisely in the member states of the Arab League, severely and systematically. And this kind of repression is too often legitimized by arguments of national security or by invoking counterterrorism. And the EU cannot, should not directly or indirectly be a part of legitimizing repression in the name of counterterrorism, not the repression of those that act entirely in line with their universal human rights. And sadly speaking, from Bahrain to Egypt, from Saudi Arabia to Turkey, from Qatar to Sudan, we see this kind of repression. And I think we should take the lead in ensuring that security and freedom are integrally related and the EU must not be tempted by any short-term perspectives on interests while forgetting about the fundamental values upon which we base ourselves.